In this video, we will demonstrate how to use thin layer chromatography in order to identify an unknown drug. You will begin this lab by creating your solutions. In four separate beakers, add two milliliters of methanol using a pipette. Add a microscope of acetyl salicylic acid, acetaminophen, caffeine, and your unknown compound to the 2 milliliters of methanol. Once these solutions have dissolved, set up your thin layer chromatography by retrieving a TLC plate. About a centimeter from the bottom, sketch in pencil a line representing the baseline. The baseline will give you a starting point for your solutions that will assist you later in calculating your retention factor. Make sure you are wearing gloves for this step. Also, be sure to label each lane so you know which compound will be put where. You will initiate the first step of thin layer chromatography, which is called spotting, by using a capillary tube to dab your solutions on the baseline of the TLC plate. Once complete, your TLC plate is ready to enter the chamber. To prepare the chamber, add 3 milliliters of ethyl acetate to the bottom of the chamber. The ethyl acetate is the mobile phase, which will ascend up the TLC plate throughout the experiment. The next step in thin layer chromatography is development, where you will place your plate into the chamber. Ensure that your plate is not lopsided or your results may be skewed. Wait until your mobile phase has ascended up most of the TLC plate. Ensure that it does not exceed the bounds of the plate. Once your mobile phase has reached its peak, remove the TLC plate using forceps. Sketch a line where your mobile phase ends. Now it is time for the final step in TLC, visualization. Keeping your TLC plate on the watch glass, locate the hood which contains a UV lamp. Hold your plate underneath the lamp and sketch the approximate locations that each of your samples have traveled. Compare the distance traveled for each of your samples. This will tell you the samples that have the same active ingredients. In our case, the migration pattern of our unknown sample matched that of both acetyl salicylic acid and caffeine. After referencing the lab manual, we were able to determine that our unknown drug was anison, which contains both acetyl salicylic acid and caffeine. You will now run an additional TLC plate to confirm your results. In our case, we ran our hypothesized drug anison in a mix of anison with our unknown compound as well as the unknown compound on its own. The expected result was that all of these migration patterns would be the same. If they are the same, then you know that you have the same compound in all three of your lanes. In our case, they were, so we were able to confidently conclude that our unknown sample was in fact anison. Be sure to sketch both of your TLC plates in your lab notebook with scale.